over 50 of you watch me on TV. <gasps> oh my God, how embarrassing. When I read this, I went, are you kidding me? Oh my God, then I'll look so big. Oh no, I'm getting over it. Thank you. No matter where you watch me, I don't care. Thank you for being here. That's the bottom line. That's all you guys ask me, lamps. Can you make some lamps? Can you paint some lamps? Can you do some more lampshades? So here we are today, we're gonna do lampshades. So let's get started. I get a lot of questions about where I got this from viewers who didn't see my last video. This I got at uh, through Timu and I think it was like $15. This is like a silicone. This I love because even when I'm working with glue or paint, it all washes off, nothing to it and it's very soft. So it's the perfect DIY base this might be something that you want to consider. I'm going to leave a code below if you're interested. I do not get paid. I don't get anything through Timu uh, when you buy something. I just want to share it with you if you're interested. I get questions from you guys all the time about lamps. I'm going to do two of them today. So they come with these little plain lampshades, but they won't be plain for long. You know me, right? And so they look like this and I'm going to give them a little, I don't know, a little woof, not a little woof. I'm gonna give them a little oomph, if you will. Is that it? Woof. I'm gonna woof them up. There you go. It's got a really nice uh, shape to it. I got these two, a floor one and a little one and another medium sized one through Marketplace, 30 bucks. Hello, for all five of them, 30 bucks. Can't beat that, right? I almost forgot. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Grace and I do all sorts of DIY crazy projects because I am crazy and I'm okay with that. I want to show you this I purchased at Michael's. This, this is $59 coupon for 40% off. So as soon as I seen the coupon, I'm going, oh yes, um, I know exactly what I'm going to get. A cake turntable. Sometimes when I'm working on small projects, I kind of go lift up the pieces to work on and whatever. So like this, I can just turn it and keep going. But you might want to look on Marketplace. I mean, there was one for $39, but it was also two hours away and I thought that ain't working. So I'm just going to keep this plastic because I am working with paint. This is great. I don't have to. So when I'm going with the brush, I could just keep going. Now let's try it. I'm going to be using regular house paint and this is just a pink that was left over from my granddaughter's room. I just want to show you that yes, you can paint with anything. Contrary to what you hear, I'm here to show you that yes, you can. When it comes to a surface like this, I like to give it a base so that the paint can attach. But I want to show you in this video that I've done things before that does not have it and it's absolutely fine because then I seal it and nothing happens. I want you to see what I'm doing. I want you to feel confident you don't necessarily have to buy the $60, $70 paint, especially if you can't afford it. And it doesn't mean that you can't do a project just because you can't afford it. Maybe you have friends who um, just maybe painted their house, a little bit of paint left over that you want to try or maybe look on Marketplace is actually really good for people who painted their homes and they have little bits left over and they don't know what to do with them. I did a Mackenzie Child's artisan class. They had one of these turntables and I thought, oh, I need one in my life. So I've given this the first coat and I'm going to let it dry. Start with the first coat on this one. Now also just to let you know that I did wipe these already. Make sure you don't, don't ever start a project without cleaning it because then your paint will definitely not stick. I'm taking a Mackenzie Child's napkin and I've cut a strip around because the edges are a little bit perforated. I don't need that much, but I don't want to use the perforated end. I'm going to measure here how much exactly I'm going to need. Okay, so I'm going to remove that because we don't need the two ply. If you haven't subscribed and you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing or sharing my video. It would help my channel to grow. Anyway, I don't want to keep you. Let's get back to this video. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving. 
going to be using a fusion heirloom. I buy these little sample containers and I like these when you need only a little bit. There's no need to buy a big can. Now I normally paint dots with a daughter, but I'm going to try these. Not sure I like this. I can't say I like the pencil too much. That's just a me thing. If it works for you, you go for it. Lights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. If I let figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my you can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I just want to recap The pink was just regular house paint that I had extra and this uh, beautiful kind of sea foamy that was from fusion and that was heirloom regular house paint from bear jumping from cliffs so high trust in our wings to fly don't like the flower go in fix it again no big deal We're going to work on the lampshade. I don't know, what do you think? That would look pretty, but I'm not gonna go with that today. Like this, oh, like this. I don't know, because then it's only gonna give it one side, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, this might work. We're gonna go with this one. What do you think? When I did the other lampshade, I had a lot of you guys ask me where I purchased the applique. I get all these from Timu and I did share that with all of you in one of my videos. So if you haven't seen it, I will link that below. I kind of like this. Nothing fancy, nothing schmancy. Let's see what happens. At the end of the day, what could possibly go wrong? Ugh, I shouldn't say that too loud. I just know it. How's that looking so far? I like it. The other way around, but I'm just going to make sure that this is pressed down because I just put the glue where the flowers were. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I love it. And I love this thing. Ooh. My goodness, if I was a kid, I'd be doing this all night. But I'm not going to because that's going to make me dizzy. At this age, it doesn't take a lot to make me dizzy. And don't worry about all this little fluff that's out here. Don't worry, all that's gonna go away. Oh, I love this. I do have this ribbon that I purchased from Timu or silk rope. You know, I kind of like this too. But you know what? I do want to cover this and I think cutting this off here and putting it here will kind of finish off everything. Keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling. Down. So 
So I'm starting from the back and I'm just really putting it just underneath the rim. Oh, oh that was, I put a little too much glue there maybe. Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So this is where I wanted them to go. I have these two pillars that I got at Hobby Lobby for $18 and I put them on either side of my desk. And when I seen these, I mean, they were both what? It came out to like five bucks, right? For both. Because I don't forget, I did get five of them, including a floor one, a lamp for $30 on market. Technically they came out both for five bucks. Yeah, this is my office. Now, if you haven't seen the video, I did paint that uh, ceiling medallion and I have that on a video. And then I got the chandelier on Marketplace for I believe it was $40. And I got <laughs> just quite recently the shades, uh, five shades for $5, which I absolutely love the way it's, it, you know, kind of pulls the room together. And I do have that one by the window. It's the Mackenzie Childs, which I showed you I did an unboxing. This table, which I DIY'd in a video. The magazine rack. And those are just some boxes that I purchased stuff from Mackenzie Child. I did the office in a video, but I am in search on Marketplace for the perfect chair for this spot. So I haven't found that yet. It's messy. It's my office. Uh, these cabinets were all brown wood. I painted them because I wanted that like a clean feel, if you will. I got the dollar store, but I love the greenery on it and you could just you know spruce it up and this is just <clears throat> some Mackenzie Child's cups Christmas cups that I showed you in a video love my tea so of course I have to have my tea I did this set in one of my videos so I will link below to all my Mackenzie Child's and, and authentic collection if you wish to see that yeah so this is my office I mean it's not very big it is more than enough oh I forgot to tell you also, this carpet I got on Marketplace and I wound up paying $40 for it and it, I really like the way it blended in with everything. And I have that um, throw and I just put it on the chair because it's kind of the same design as the the carpet. Do you like it the way it came out? Um, would you have changed the color? Maybe a different kind of pink? I don't know. I just wanted to try something different. I don't know to be perfectly honest if I would mod podge that again. I think maybe if I would have painted it I would have probably liked it more. I'm perfectly okay with that. Let me know what you think.